welcome to another daily scripture. I hope you're finding these words encouraging for you. Um, I'm certainly finding a great discipline to read the words out for you every day, and it's a privilege to share God's word with you. Uh, on that note, I'm going to turn to, now to Acts chapter 2, verses 29 to 40, and we're looking at um, the verse 33 where it says, He has received the promise, Holy Spirit, and has poured out what you now see and hear. Today's reading is taken from the message. Dear friends, let me be completely frank with you. Our ancestor David is dead and buried. His tomb is in plain sight of you today. But being also a prophet and knowing that God has solemnly sworn a descendant of his would rule the kingdom, seeing far ahead he talked of the resurrection of the Messiah. No trip to Hades, no stench of death. This Jesus God raised up. And every one of us is here to witness it. Then raised to the heights at the right hand of God and receiving the promise of the Holy Spirit from the Father, he poured out the spirit that he had just received. That is what you see and hear, for David himself did not ascend to heaven, but he did say, God said to my master, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a stool for your feet. All Israel then knew this. There is no longer room for doubt. God made him a master and messiah. This Jesus whom you killed on the cross. Cut to the quick. Those who were there listening asked Peter and other apostles, brothers, brothers, so now what do we do? Peter says, change your life, turn to God and be baptised, each of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so your sins are forgiven. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is targeted to you and your children, but also to those who are far away, whomever the fact our Master God invites. He went on in this vein for a long time, urging them over and over, get out while you can, get out of this sick and stupid culture. In today's reflection, we look at an ultimate character. It is only in Jesus that we see ultimate character revealed. The disciples who had walked with Jesus seemed to have the idea that messianic power would be manifested in an overwhelming display that would compel obedience. But the reality was different. He overcame his enemies by loving them. When the Spirit came to them at Pentecost, they knew then that this was the ultimate power with ultimate character. The Spirit could not have been given in the days of Christ's humiliation. That would have set the wrong pattern. He could be given only in the days of his glorification. And that set the right pattern. If you're enjoying or being blessed by any of these readings, then please subscribe to my channel. Father, I thank you that you conquered everything, and through your Spirit, so can I. Blessed be your name forever. Amen. Thank you.